Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Banished in Quiglisto Fetsto. I like saying that word. We got one guy who's working really, really far away from his house. Apparently he's the best candidate for that job. Which just means we need more homes here. And the population is just growing like crazy. 320 adults now. It just becomes a, a challenge to, to maintain the food supply, really. Let's not try to make too many, but let's also let's make sure that we have houses for this whole area. This is a big part of the village. What's this then? No citizens are available to work this location. We just don't have enough herdsmen? We'll tend to them, damn it. I definitely want to get the sheep supply up. And I want to see these storage things full. Alright, let's go around and I think the thing we spend the most time on is just checking pathing. We got a couple people working up there. Looks like we need another house near here. Okay, hold on. I think I see nomads. 44 citizens. Do we do we risk it <laughs> for the sake of growth or uh, I think we deny these ones. I think you guys need to get the hell out of here. Go away. We cannot afford to to have that big of a swing in consumption. I mean, it was a stretch just to get things back under control with uh, the last batch of them. And that wasn't even really that many. Let's make this one even more cattle. We'll split that one off. It's not full, so it's not really generating any food yet. I just want to get more cattle. Lots of cows. Our firewood production. I think we should probably check some more stuff. I need to use the ledger more. Or whatever you call this thing. Production. Fuel. We produced 3,900. We used 33, so that's part of the issue, is that we're just not really overproducing by much, which makes it hard to trade. So we need even more. This guy has pecans, beans. Okay, so peach, beans. Peach and beans. Peach. Peaches. Got them. I think I'm almost positive we have beans. Yeah, peaches and beans. Got it. Pepper I know we have. Wheat and cherry. I'm almost positive that we have both of those as well. Wheat. Cherry. It'd be nice if it just actually told me what these damn things were, just that I don't have them. And then I could keep an eye out for them. Um, we could also order... What is it? Plums, maybe? What do you think the thing is that we don't have? Plums? It's gotta be plums. Yep. Plums is one of them. Let's go ahead and request it um, just once. Go ahead and request plums. That way we can stop. Once we have all of them, we can just completely ignore seeds. Not waste any time on it. So what do we want to buy from you? I kind of want the logs. The ale's kind of expensive. Why don't we also just grab a ton of food? We'll even give you a couple tools. 22 of them, in fact. There we go. So that'll give us a little bit more food. We don't have very many traders right now, so I think like, trading is probably not being very effective. What do we want to put in this little one? Got lots of cattle farms. Why don't we do sheep here? As soon as this one actually grows. Get another herdsman. A few more foresters to try to keep that 
food production good. Oh, right, and we were, once again, trying to make sure people are living close to where they work. That little compound is finally looking good. You are an idiot. As is this person. Oh my god. I mean, if that's the only house that's available for him, I guess I can get a, kind of understand it, but... Gosh, is that crazy. We need iron. We are totally out of iron. We have no iron mine, so... Looks like we're back to service gathering again. Iron hasn't really been that bad, though, to actually get a hold of. Twenty thousand food. So I can't remove it, right? It's not possible. I think that's what it said. Actually, it's saying that it can be demolished. It's kind of weird. Quarries cannot be removed once placed. And yet it says that I'm allowed to demolish it. Weird. Let's increase priority and see if they actually do it. There's one person working on it. It probably just leaves a hole in the ground. <laughs> Look at that road. I almost feel like these fields are slowing things down because there isn't a main road. And that I'd be better off like... You know what, let's just, let's just do it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna, okay, so this is wheat. We're gonna try this. We're gonna remove the field. We're gonna place a new field. We're gonna go from here to here. And from here to here. We're gonna make them both wheat. And then we're going to put a road right through the center of it, because there's, it's just, there's so much traffic. Same thing here, I think. Although this one's going to probably be too thin. I want to do it, though. Because, I mean, on flat ground, you don't even need to have a... Gotta be four. Hmm. Well, it works. I mean, whatever. Barely really losing much production. A single row of production to maybe get the road in and make people walk quicker? I think it's worth it. Until the stone road is in, I don't think they're gonna prefer that path. But once the roads are done, That'll speed him up quite a bit. Still waiting on that iron. Tons of coats. Alright, let's toggle around between the... Oh, we only have one tailor. I could have sworn I made another tailor. And let's switch it up to warm coats. Leather plus wool. Because now we have sheep. And even though the sheep are... There's only three of them. Um, down from 14. Awesome. We will gather some wool. And eventually I think it'll build up. We got 11 cows. And 9 there. Yeah, now they are preferring that route. And they still don't even have that, that road done. This one's done. Partially done. It's a very minor difference that you can see. There's a horde of farmers working on this iron is what's happening. You know what I'm going to do? I haven't done this in a while, and I should be, is that when we're doing mass gathering like this, I think we should have a stockpile. Because that'll allow, like, the vendors don't consider this to be material, I think. I think a laborer has to pick it up take it to a stockpile. But a vendor will come pick it up from the stockpile. Cherries and pepper. Pretty sure we have both of those. 
Kind of low on firewood, but it is spring, so we're okay. We've got citizens who are freezing. Not sure why. You have fair clothing and a steel tool. Are you just... Is it just... You're traveling too far? You don't have firewood? Maybe we're having a... A bit of a supply and demand issue here. As far as, like, actually putting the resources where they need to be. Okay. Everyone's living and working nearby. That compound's pretty solid. Yeah, one person is actually working the market from down there, which is okay. This might even be more effective for harvesting. Quarry. 30 people working that one quarry is a bit tough. Interestingly, these homes are not being used for the quarry. They're being used for all kinds of other stuff. Oh well. Food supply is actually down, which is strange because we bought food. We're overusing again. Mm. It is tough, man. It's tough to keep keep up on that food. It's like the number one priority. You have to spend all of your effort on it. So we have tons of fish. Can't really just rely on more fishing. I think I need to make more farms. How's this whole compound doing? Did I ever... I probably ignored it and forgot all about it. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so we need some houses up here. also need to... Now, which one was it? Didn't I say we did one Forester's Lodge where we weren't cutting? Might have been this one. Or was it this one? Where we were trying to make the gatherers more effective. I don't, I don't know if I actually did that or not. This was the experimental venison spot. So last year, they did 1,200. Last year, this one did roughly 1,200. I feel like having that extra person is not really that great. Let's go ahead and clear out the rest of this stone. Not that we need stone, but because I want the foresters to be able to w work the area. But before we let them do that, I want to prioritize the houses, though. Those houses need to get done. I guess we we could fish more. I mean, it wouldn't be ideal to be living off fish, but we're still... Imagine if we had taken those nomads, how bad things would be right now. We need vast fields of beans is what we need. Beans, beans, American fruit. That's a lot of pumpkins. What if I just put like the smallest little farms everywhere? Like stick an orchard, a little farm here. Can we? It's too small. I disagree. It's just the right size. Oh yeah, look at that, you can fit one. Should totally put a little crop field right there. Four by six. Let's do it. We're not gonna stick anything else out here. Except for maybe more storage things, which are dumb. Can't quite fit. Okay. Um what do we not have much of? Let's let's uh, do it this way. We'll go here and we'll find the plant that we have like none of. So squash, 
pumpkins, potatoes. Squash. Pumpkins. Or no, potatoes. We have plenty of pumpkins. Potatoes. Tiniest little farms ever. Who cares? I don't know. It seems seems like you just gotta utilize the space. Of course, I also am getting a little bit distracted by the fact that there's just so much going on. And we don't really have a storage thing nearby, which concerns me slightly. I mean, there is one there. Back up to four sheep. I wonder if it makes sense to split these. Can't split it. Must have to have like a certain size before that's possible. Okay, hmm. <laughs> I know we have more homes to upgrade. Might as well do some of that. Just occasionally willy nilly. Oh, right in the middle. Yeah, right in the middle of winter. That's brilliant. A Roomba. Good idea. Yeah, so the quarry stayed there, but it, the actual construction has gone. That looks cool, though. Kind of like it. I'm assuming it's not going to build anything there. Look at that, it's floating in the air. Yay. It's funny. You brought more sheep. Are these ones also contaminated? Almost definitely yes. We'll buy them. Bastards. If these ones are equally contaminated, I'm going to be very upset. In fact, we have too many. Even these are these are full. How many did we buy? Fourteen? Seven plus another maybe not, maybe they're all there. Nope, <laughs> there's one lone sheep who's like, I don't have a home, let me I need somewhere to go. <laughs> okay, maybe we stick some more sheep down here. Just a few. And that'll be where we put the other sheep. Pretty darn cold. Food supply, still a concern, as always. Production, we're 3,000 deficit. We're gonna run out in three years if we don't s step it up or start buying food at the market, at the, at the trade depot. Hopefully these houses are almost done, which will make this whole unit a lot more effective. Like the hunting cabin here probably did very little. No, they did really well, actually, last year. It's impressive. Gather us up, did really well last year, even though they were far away. Hmm. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought for them to work far away. But all signs are pointing towards we need another compound. Maybe another one up here. Let's go with a uh, gatherer's hut. Forester's lodge. I've already forgotten that specific combo. That's okay though.
Yeah, that looks like the most cir the best route, of course. Crazy game. A stone cannot connect to that location. Apparently we, we're gonna need to make a bridge. Or a tunnel. Really? Well, I guess we just won't even have one, and we'll just let them traverse it themselves. Oops, wrong button. Just seems weird that, like, we can't build a road, but we can't build a tunnel. Kind of not cool. Okay, cool, and uh, we do want another house or two up here, I think. Part of the problem with building this far away is just that we don't also have a uh, a market nearby, which I think is going to be pretty expensive. It's going to be difficult for these guys to get what they need, so we probably need a market in this area up here to service these two jointing combining compounds. So. Okay, I'm going to take a break here. Hopefully in the next video we actually start to have a surplus of food again, and we will see. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.